With this single word, President Trump is setting off a firestorm, not just among his critics, but even among some in his own party who find his insult, horse face, indefensible. A president who almost never backs down, standing by his attack on the appearance of porn star Stormy Daniels. After a judge dismissed Daniels' defamation lawsuit against the president, he triumphantly tweeted, Great, now I can go after Horseface and her third-rate lawyer. Asked by the Associated Press whether going after a woman's looks is appropriate, the president responded simply, You can take it any way you want. Even some of his allies aren't taking it well. He's a street fighter, but he's also the president. And I just don't think this elevates him. I don't think it does anything good for the country. Daniels, for her part, is firing back like she promised to do earlier this year. I'm done. I'm done being bullied. Now she's tweeting, game on, tiny, slamming the president's, quote, hatred of women and lack of self-control on Twitter again. It's not clear if this will matter come the midterms, but no matter what, the president says he will not accept blame if Republicans lose the House. After all, he points out, he's not on the ballot. Over in the East Wing, it's not re-election, but a rapper in the spotlight. After this, fake Melania Trump created real anger in the First Lady's office. Rapper T.I. tweeting just days after Kanye West's controversial Oval Office visit, Dear 45, I ain't Kanye along with video of a Melania Trump look-alike stripping off her clothes. The first lady's spokeswoman, who first called for a boycott of the rapper, now calls the portrayal disrespectful and disgusting, adding these kinds of vulgar attacks only further the divisiveness and bias in our country. It needs to stop. And keep in mind, by the way, that when the president is pushing off blame in case Republicans do lose the House come the midterms, at rally after rally these past few weeks, he's actually made this a referendum on himself, specifically saying a vote for whichever GOP candidate is a vote for Donald Trump. He is acknowledging that Republicans do have a rocky path ahead, but he says if Democrats take the House and move to impeach him, he says he thinks he will handle it well. Wow. All right, Hallie. Thank you. See you in the flesh, Hallie. Thank you.